What do you say when a waiter asks, what protein do you want with your salad? No, no, I'd go crazy with that. My wife has to like, be like, oh my God, please. I'd stop being rude. I mean, I used to just be like, what are you talking about? And they'd be like, what protein? I'd be like, what do you mean? And they'd be like, well, do you want chicken? I was like, well, there's fat with chicken. And you ask me if I want chicken and protein or fat and protein. Or what? And then this poor, you know, high school kid is just like, would you just answer the question? Now I just say, I don't want any protein because I don't need it. And then I flex. Have you ever encountered a plant-based food that you just couldn't get yourself to like? I hate okra. Well, okra is disgusting. Me too. I think it's like yeah. snails or something. It's so disgusting. Okra. For longevity, what's better, beans, greens, or fruits? They're all good. I we gotta stop like trying to like hierarchy things. I mean, in the actual studies, beans come up top for what's best. But seriously, they're all good. I'm really liking your vibe to answering these questions. It's really different from other doctors. Um, weight loss, cardio versus strength training. Man, nah, yeah, there's no answer to that. They're both great. Whatever you're going to do is whatever is going to work. So that's a good answer. Uh, I would, uh, I would do both. What's more radical in the health industry, a plant-based diet or a gastric bypass? Well, the health industry would consider uh, a plant-based diet more radical. They think that's crazy. Uh, they would definitely be like, oh, gastric bypass is way better. Uh, so for the health industry, yeah, they think a plant-based diet is totally radical. Smoothies or salads, what do you prefer for a quick boost in the morning? Well, smoothies are quick and easy, and you're out the door, and it's good. I can't imagine salad in the morning. I guess some people do it, but yeah, I go with smoothie. What's the myth about bariatric surgery that you've had to debunk the most? That people are taking the easy way out, that this is like some kind of shortcut, quick cut, and they're never going to have to work hard again. What has fewer calories, Pam cooking spray or a slice of cucumber? <laughs> Uh, definitely as well it depends on when you're uh so the the serving size for pan and cooking spray is a quarter of a second of a spray so if you do uh, like that then it's the same <laughs> in the battle of the beans which variety do you prefer the most lentils what's your go-to song for motivating yourself or your patients to stay active no oh, rocky i love rocky anything from the rocky soundtracks you turn those on and go and ride uh, now you're speaking. If you could invent a plant-based superfood, what unique benefits would it offer? Satiety. <laughs> That's a great answer, mate. Do you have any surprising talents away from the operating theater? I play tennis and I have done triathlons. I've done an Ironman. So I, I, I practice what I preach. What plant-based food do you think is underrated and deserves more attention? The pasta. I think pasta is underrated. Uh, semolina wheat is actually a low glycemic index food. Uh, it creates a lot of satiety and it tastes great. Is there a dessert that can be both delicious and healthy? Yeah, fruit. I, fruit is uh, food, easy food to pick as uh, delicious and nutritious. Definitely. That's my go-to anyway. What's the most creative use of tofu you've ever tried or seen? Oh, we do all kinds of things with tofu, but lately we've been grating the tofu, like freezing it, then grating it and creating a stir fry with it. It's really good. I have never thought of that. It comes out nice and crumbly. It's perfect. That is a really great idea. If you could dine with one historical figure, who would it be and what plant-based meal would you serve? Okay, so um, lately I'm reading a lot of books on Buddhism, and I want to talk about Buddha himself, because he says you should just experience it and not think about it, and then there's a million writings about what you should be thinking about. And so I'm very confused with Buddhism, and I want to talk with the man. I want to skip all the other guys and go right to the man. And uh, I think we would have a tofu vindaloo. What is the single worst food a patient can eat after a bariatric surgery? Bacon. How do you respond when someone says but I could never give up meat. Well, you don't have to give up meat. I mean, from a health standpoint, you don't have to give up meat. You just have to change the amount of meat you eat in order to be healthy. And you have to increase the amount of fiber and phytochemicals you're getting. What's the weirdest food combination, if any, you've seen a patient adopt after surgery? I mean, the, the weirdest diet that I could possibly think about is the carnivore diet. I mean, that just breaks all sense of what would possibly be I, it's just it, it's a miracle to me that this is something that exists in the world but so be it what one junk food trend do you wish would disappear forever beef jerky what's the most interesting question the patient has ever asked you about a plant-based diet 
No one asks me any interesting questions about plant-based diets. It's always the same thing. Where do you get your protein? What's the best plant-based dish you've ever had? Oh, man, there's so many. Uh, there's this Chinese restaurant here that this is amazing eggplant uh, dish. But anything from Crossroads Restaurant in L.A., uh, I had their uh, carbonara. It was just out of this world amazing. If your patients were awarded a lifetime supply of one plant-based food, what would it be? That's tough. Would it be beans or would it be greens? I'm going to go with beans. What's the most surprising food craving you've heard of from a patient? So they, they crave what I would expect people to crave given how we make food these days. What's your favorite season for fresh produce? No, sorry, John. And last one, what's the biggest surprise you've had regarding a patient's progress with a plant-based diet? Oh, a patient going from morbidly obese to an athlete and running marathons and triathlons. Thank you for those questions. I really enjoyed no that. And uh, some pretty cool answers there. Mm -hmm.